hello all welcome to my youtube channel so today in this particular video we're going to be understanding what are voting ensembles and what are their benefits and how we're going to be using in our machine learning algorithms and what it is limitations so let us understand and let's walk through this video so what are voting ensembles voting ensembles is, is an assemble machine learning model that combines the prediction from multiple other models so it's basically it's like we are doing a, a kind of ensemble learning with different kind of models running in parallel so it is a technique that may be used to improve the model performance ideally achieving better performance than any single model used in the assemble so there are actually two kind of uh, voting ensembles one is for regression and one is for classification so in regression voting ensemble we generally take the output from the uh, models and take the average of those uh, uh, output models and we do the predictions and in classification voting ensembles we do a majority vote from all the kind of predictions from the models so in classification voting assemble we have two kind of uh, votings which is hard voting and soft voting so in hard voting what the model generally does is it predicts the classes with the largest sum of votes from the models so it takes the majority vote from all the uh, predictions from the model and then gives the output result and in in terms of soft voting it takes the probability from all kind of model and then it takes it some of the probabilities for each and every classes and then it takes the maximum of those probability and predict the classes so this is what a uh, general voting assemble does and what does hard voting and soft voting is it has been uh, delivered so this is how a different voting ensembles uh, we can use in our building our classification models uh, by using hard voting and soft voting and we can get the prediction with respect to to to, to the, our required conditions so if you if you want to get the class tables at the end we can use hard voting or if you want to get the prediction done in terms of probabilities then you can use soft voting so let's just go through the implementation of this voting ensembles and let us see how this can be achieved so in our video we're going to be uh, seeing a hard uh, voting ensembles and this can be applied to uh, soft voting ensembles so right now we're going to be building classification voting ensemble model using hard voting so this all implementation can be done with respect to regression voting assemble as well and with respect to the soft voting as well so this is a general implementation which you, which can be further extended to regression voting ensemble as well so let us walk through it so let us import the required libraries so we're going to be importing mean from numpy and standard deviation from numpy and we're going to be importing uh, make classification function from sql and dataset and we're going to be importing cross file scope we're going to be importing repeated satisfy k4 and k nearest classifier so right now we're going to be building a k nearest classifier and with uh, and with uh, we're going to be building a series of uh, classifier k nearest classifier in our model and we'll run in parallel so we'll see in how like how we'll be doing on these things and we're going to be finally importing voting classifier function from sql and ensembles so this function will generally help us to uh, do the parallelism what we are talking about and in terms of classifier and if we are doing the voting uh, regression then we have to do the we have to take the we have to import the classes from the voting regression and finally we're going to be importing matplotlib for visualization of the uh, different accuracies of our model so let's just run it so in the next cell uh, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making our own data set so by using uh, make underscore classification function so this is how uh, we generally do it so right now i'm giving a uh, thousand samples and 20 features and it it will prepare a custom data set for me for analysis so let's just do it so here's the main cell which describes how a voting model can be uh, built so this is nothing uh, but a voting classifier model 
code so let's just walk through it what is happening here so uh, before we uh, walk through this above uh, above uh, codes let's understand what this voting classifier accepts in it so voting classifier function has estimator uh, and voting as a parameter so estimator accepts the models series of models which you want to train and and it takes voting uh, parameter as which kind of voting you want to apply like is it is hard voting or soft soft voting so this is what a voting classifier takes in so right now we're going to be building this model uh, estimator parameters and we, we're going to be uh, appending it here so this model uh, models are nothing but we're going to be using over here is k nearest classifier so let's just understand what how like what is the format of this uh, k nearest classifier so we're going to be taking uh, a tuple which consists of a name of a model and it's a, a, class, a classifier and similarly a name of a second model and a classifier similarly third and fourth so this is how uh, we are building a different kind of models and we are appending this model in this list so uh, this model list consists of these series of models with different kind of neighbor so in the first model what i have done is i have taken a neighbor one and in the second model i have taken neighbor three and in third model i have taken five so this is what i have trained and now this is what i have mentioned so uh, right now i have mentioned five model in parallel and i have uh, taken its name and its classifier and then it appended it to the models list so this list consists of all these kind of models and finally we are taking this model list and attaching it to the estimators parameter inside voting classifier and we are giving voting parameters as hard and finally storing it in assemble variable and returning in this assemble so this get underscore voting is nothing but a symbol model built by 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 all these five models five parallel models so this is what a uh, get underscore voting function will do this will prepare a parallel uh, model and symbol model which will run all those five models in parallel and give the output result by using hard voting so this function uh, is built for building the ensemble model so let us run it now the next function uh, we have is get underscore model so uh, for comparison of different kind of models like a separate separate models like from uh, like a uh, KNN1, KNN3, KNN5, KNN7 and finally the ensemble model so to compare all those models like the performance of all those models separately we are building uh, a different function that is get underscore model which will call all this function these models separately and will store in the form of dictionary so and it will return the model so this is what a get underscore model will do so let us run it so now and finally we're going to be doing a certified k fold as well so we have to do it from a format of a function as well so uh, we're going to be defining a function evaluate underscore model which will take input as model a separate model and with the data set and finally we will call a repeat satisfied k fold function and we'll give the 10 splits and repeat it for three times and random state is for one so now we're going to be passing this cv uh, into the cross well score so to evaluate it for different kind of uh, satisfied folds so we're going to be doing cross well score and we're going to be returning it in the form of scores so this will give the average scores for all kind of uh, models which you're going to be putting inside this so this is what evaluate underscore model function will do so let us run it so in this final cell what we're going to be doing is we're going to be setting up all those functions which we have mentioned above and we'll walk through this like how what is the performance of separate uh, model when we run the separate model separate kinin classify models and what will the performance of this assemble model which we have built above uh, so we'll compare all those models separately so this is what a code of cell which looks like here will demonstrate here 
so uh, in the first uh, line we're going to be importing our data set that is from get underscore data set which we have defined it over here so we are running it and now we're going to be importing get underscore model so it will load all kinds of model so it will load uh, this function and it will load all those uh, models separately and it will return in the form of model so it will return KN1, KN3, KN5 and finally it will also have this uh, assembled model as well. So this is what a uh, model would do. And finally we are going to be uh, doing a evaluation on each and every separate models to understand the performance of separate models. So we are going to be passing uh, each and every model to a valid underscore function. So this is what uh, a series of uh, line will look like so we are iterating at each and every model so this is the model we have uh, uh, initiated now and after that we are iterating on each and every model and finally we are passing it to this evaluate underscore model function with the data set and we are getting the scores and finally it will append it to the result list which we have initialized it above and similarly the name of that particular model so and finally we are going to be comparing all the results of different models. So finally we are comparing the results of separate models and the assembled model. So with the help of box plot. So this is what a code of line will look like to demonstrate a difference of separate model performance and ensemble model performance. So let us run it and let us see what does the difference work. So we can see if you run KN1 separately, it's gonna its accuracy will be 0.873. And if you run KN3 separately, it will have a performance of 88.9%. And similarly, KN5, 18.5, 18, 18 KN7, 89%, then KN9, 90%. And if you do a hard voting, that means if you do if you go for uh, ensemble model. So the prediction, the, the performance of will be increased. So it's now 90.2. So this is what uh, a general uh, demonstration of uh, a separate performance, separate model performance look like. And same thing can be visualized on the box plot. So this is the box plot you can see over here. And this is what the uh, comparison of uh, different separate models has been shown, showcased over here. So you can see that hard voting that is our assembled model is predicting uh, better uh, accuracy uh, is predicting with better accuracy so this is what a uh, hard voting assemble model look like so similarly you can also uh, do with the soft uh, soft voting as well so you have you can just mention a soft over here and you can do a soft voting as well so let us understand that when we can use a voting ensemble model so if if the if the voting ensemble model is performing better than any other se separate single model which is used in the assemble so if the performance of voting ensemble is a maximum then any other separate single model which we have used in uh, in the assemble so we can use this voting ensemble model there is a furthermore condition you can use that if the variance is low lower than any other model which we have used in assemble so then we can use it it means that uh, lower variance means here is that that prediction accuracy is maximum for uh, that model. That means that prediction error is lower for that voting assemble model than compared to any other single model. Then you can use it. So this is where you can use voting ensemble, and it is most effective when combining multiple fits of model trained using st stochastic learning algorithms. That means when whenever the model is trained on the same same data set for different times every time it is it is learning a different thing and it's going to printing a different thing so this is where a uh, voting ensemble will be more effective so in such case you can use a uh, voting ensemble so like uh, when you do a stochastic uh, learning algorithms for deep learning uh, for building ANN networks so there also we can use uh, voting assembles as well and we can use this uh, uh, voting ensemble when we want to train with different hyperparameters in that particular assemble models so this is where a voting ensemble will be more effective and there are there are also uh, some limitations of voting assembles as well so limitations of voting ensembles is that 
uh, it treats all the models which is in built inside that ensemble model with the same uh, contribution that means with the same weightage it treats all those models which are included in that assemble it treats or it means that all model contribute equally to the prediction so this is a problem if like if some model are good in such some situations but some model are poor in some other situations like whatever the model we have used suppose here we have used kanan model like kanan 1 kanan 2 kanan 3 and kanan 4 so we have used all those kind of models uh, to build a assemble model so suppose to a uh, Canon one and Canon three performs better than Canon Canon five Canon nine. Then at that point of time, this model will fail. So this this robotic ensemble model assumes that all those models which we have mentioned in inside it are performing better and equally. So this this is what the limitations of robotic ensemble is. So uh, to rec to rescue these uh, limitations. We have other uh, assembles models like extension to voting ensembles that is weighted average assemble that is nothing but blending and another uh, another uh, extension is stacking. So this is what a series of ensemble and what we can do with the voting ensemble looks like and this is what the limitations and effectiveness of the voting assemble is. So we can use this voting ensembles in. Uh, in our daily practice as well for for improving the performance of model so this is what uh, a voting ensemble will look like and hope this video will help you to improve the performance of the model in a better way and we'll come up with different uh, manipulations which can be done with voting ensembles in future videos so uh, for for this video this was the basic understanding of voting ensemble for a uh, further uh, videos as well so you, so this is the base you can understand but for future videos this should be a base and we're going to be using this voting ensemble to build a better and better models and by using a parallel uh, models as well so this is what a voting ensemble look like and hope you enjoy the video and see you next time thank you